There are rough waters on the horizon for BC Ferries. In its four-year plan, the company anticipates skyrocketing costs, a drop in revenue, and continued labor shortages. CTV's Ben Milger has more on the impacts for travelers. Up and down the BC coast, communities big and small rely on BC ferries to stay connected. So do many families. That's why a new report is so troubling. It highlights a predicted revenue shortfall, inflation impacts, significant cost increases, and continued staffing issues. Longer waits, and nobody likes that, but part of life, I guess. In a province like BC and a country like Canada, I don't really see why we should be you know, encountering those kinds of problems. Last month, Premier David Eby announced a $500 million cash injection for BC Ferries to minimize fare increases. Our intervention with BC Ferries uh, was to ensure predictability of fares for people that, are, uh, that live in ferry dependent communities. Of all the issues identified, it is the staffing shortages that may have the most immediate, noticeable impact on members of the traveling public. In recent years, unexpected cancellations and delays due to a lack of workers have frequently frustrated travelers. It's a global problem and one for us that is heightened by a widening gap between what we are able to pay and market benchmarks, BC Ferries CFO Jill Charlin said in a statement. According to the union, about 600 people quit BC Ferries per year. It's not the job that it was in the 90s where the pay was, base pay was four times the minimum wage and people were uh, trying to get a job at BC Ferries. The union says 30% of new hires leave within the first few months because of forced overtime and cancelled time off. People's uh, lives are being affected significantly by the job. Compounding the staffing issues, deferred maintenance for vessels and terminals lurks beneath the surface. Add it all up and it's easy to see BC ferries sailing into turbulent waters. Ben Milger, CTV News, West Vancouver.